I look long introductions on YouTube are just absolutely the worst. So I'm just going to tell you this video has two purposes. Number one, I want to show you how to make your own all the mod seven server for you and your friends to play on. And number two, I wanted to tell you about the servers that I have set up in case you want to join one of those instead of making your own. Since this video has no sponsor, I wanted to take a quick second to tell you a little bit about a project that I've been working on. Every single video on my YouTube channel that has done even remotely well has either been centered around my home lab or around Minecraft. And because of that, I started thinking, what could I do to combine these two subjects and provide something to you, the viewer, that would actually be valuable? The more I thought about it, the more I realized that it could potentially be relatively difficult for somebody to run both a dedicated server and the client side of a mod pack at the exact same time. And so I realized I already have the hardware thanks to my home lab to be able to run a whole bunch of these servers at the same time. So why not set them up and just let you guys use them? I currently have my main vanilla server and 15 modded Minecraft servers up and running right now. But by the end of this, I plan to have well over 150 total servers running at once. The goal of this project is simply to allow friends to be able to play with each other on a server without one of them having to take the incredible performance hit of actually having to run that server for themselves. Again, this is totally free, so please feel free to share the server information with whoever you think might actually use it. Okay, back to the video. The first step in setting up an All The Mods 7 server is downloading these server files. The easiest way to do this is through Curse Forge. In order to get the server files, open up a browser. This can be Chrome, Firefox, or if you're feeling like especially swifty, feel free to open up Internet Explorer. Uh, you're going to just search basically for Curse Forge. It'll be the second link here. You're going to click on the download button and it'll just have a button in there that you can click to download Curse Forge. Download it and install it. That's step number one. Step number two is to open Curse Forge. Uh, the first time it opens, it'll probably ask you for some information and you won't have any mod packs here. So what you want to do is go to browse mod packs and then you're going to want to search for all the mods. All the mod seven is going to be the first one that pops up. In order to play the mod pack, all you have to do is click install and play over here. But in order to create a server, it's a little different. There's this button right here, right in between the three dots and the play button on the actual mod packs page. And that is specifically for downloading the server pack. Click this button and it'll start to download the files. Now, once the files are downloaded, I highly recommend putting these in their own folder so that things stay clean. So once you have the zip file in your folder, right click on it and click extract all. This has the potential to take a little bit of time because it is a lot of information. So once it's extracted, you'll open it up and then inside of here, you'll read the instructions. Pretty simple. So double click the forge installer. Uh, you're gonna want to click on the install server and then you're gonna wanna change where this is installing. So for me, I'm going to put it in this exact folder that we're in right now. It likes it the most if there's absolutely nothing in the directory already. So if you need to create a new folder, go ahead and do that. But once it's done, it'll start installing everything it needs um, from Forge. Now, once this is done installing or running or during that, we're going to need to install Java version 17. There's going to be a link for that down in the description, or you can simply Google uh, Java 17 download and you can download it from there. It's also important to note that you probably shouldn't have any other versions of Java installed on the computer at the same time because it can cause some issues. So the next step is to double click this run.bat. Now from here, it's gonna go through and start downloading and making sure everything's installed and it'll probably ask us to accept the uh, Mojang end user license agreement. For some reason, you have to accept that on every single server you install. I really don't know why. So, like I said, that's entirely normal. The first time it's going to fail because you haven't accepted the EULA yet. Uh, change the false to true inside of this file like I just did. If I can type, uh, save the file. And then from here, we should be able to run the run.bat and it'll actually launch the server for us. Now, there are a couple things to mention from this point. Number one, your server will be running, uh, but people who are not on your local home network may not be able to access it unless you have port forwarding set up on your router. I would love to just give you a simple, hey, here's how to do it. Um, but unfortunately, every single router is a little bit different. So what I would recommend doing is Googling or looking up a YouTube video on how to set up port forwarding for your specific router and then following those instructions for port 25565, which is the default Minecraft port and will be the port that this modded Minecraft server is using. So once you've set up port forwarding and the server itself, like we're watching right here, is running, your site is totally done. In order for your friends to join, however, they will need to also download CurseForge search for all the mod seven and then click the install button and the play button over here now this will launch uh, all the mod seven on their computer 
In order for them to join your server, you will need to give them your public IP address. It's the easiest thing in the world to find. Literally go to Google and Google what is my public IP, copy that, send it to them on Discord, send them a text with what it is. They can input it on the multiplayer add server list, and then they will add it to their Minecraft, join it, and you'll be good to go. I also would highly recommend making yourself a server operator on your own server. In order to do that, really all you have to do is type in OP space, whatever your username is, uh, from inside the command prompt window for your uh, server. Okay, so it looks like it's loaded. So like I said, OP space, whatever your Minecraft username is. And after four tries, I made myself a server operator. You now have an all the mod seven server and you have the port forwarding set up so that your friends can play on it with you. Like I mentioned earlier, if you get to the end of this video and it's either too difficult or you find out that your computer does not run the server and the client side well at the exact same time, please feel free to hop over to my discord. We're going to have one of these set up that you can actually play on with your friends if you so choose. And like with all of my servers, I'm not charging anything for them. I just want you to have the ability uh, to, to play on them if you want to. So there you have it. If you got some value out of this, please feel free to subscribe if you want to. If you want to leave a like, that'd be great as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.